The administration of President Joe Biden allowed Ukraine to use weapons provided by the United States to strike deep into the territory of the Russian Federation. It is noted that the first long-range strikes will take place in the coming days. This was reported by sources for Reuters, without disclosing details for security reasons. France and Great Britain have also authorized long-range strikes against Russia. It should be noted that President of Belarus Alexander Lukashenko was very much afraid of the supply of long-range Atakms missiles. It is very dangerous that Atakms long-range missiles have been allocated, the dictator panicked after beginning deliveries of these weapons to Ukraine. Now these missiles will hit targets outside Ukrainian territory. Almost the entire territory of Belarus is available for Atakms missiles, which Ukraine received from the US. Lukashenko's palace is among them. The missiles will not reach only the objects in the north of our country. It is noteworthy that Russian propagandist Olga Skabiva also said on the air of her program that Atakms missiles can reach Minsk. 100 Atakms missiles. Let's look at this map again and note. Bryansk, Kaluga, Oral, Kursk, Lipetsk, Voronezh, Belgorod, Lugansk, Rostov-on-Don, Sevastopol and Minsk, the capital of Belarus. All of this falls within a radius of 300 kilometers and all of it is now available for the enemy's armed forces to hit, Skabiva got upset. Getting these weapons at our disposal will significantly strengthen the combat capabilities of our missile units. They will become a real problem for the enemy's air defense, and a powerful fleet of anti-aircraft missile systems will allow them to be used along the entire length of the front. Priority targets will be Russian logistics and communication centers, launch sites for missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles on the TOT, the military media center of Ukraine said. Ukrainian fighters continue to destroy Russian troops in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. Marines showed new footage of successful hits on enemy targets. Kursk region. Russian generals send their elite soldiers to slaughter. We constantly do our hard work, reads the caption to the published video. The video was released by the 36th separate Marine Brigade named after Rear Admiral Mikhail Bilinsky. The video, in particular, shows the destruction of Russian military equipment and infantry. Recall Russia is also deploying FSB special forces against Ukrainian defense forces in Kursk Oblast. Reports indicate that special units of the FSB are engaged in combat in Kursk Oblast, suffering casualties. The death of any member from these elite units significantly impacts the FSB, which previously faced its largest losses during the Beslan tragedy in 2004 when 10 Special Forces operatives were killed.
An FSB source noted that the primary mission of these units is to detect and neutralize enemy reconnaissance and sabotage groups. With a state of emergency declared in Oblast, authorities have turned to the special services, indicating a decision by the FSB to deploy elite fighters against perceived Ukrainian saboteurs. However, the source cautioned that in a conventional conflict involving heavy weaponry, these special forces have limited chances against a regular army. Another source close to the FSB stated that the fight against Ukrainian saboteurs does not align with the FSB's Central Security Services operations, suggesting that the current counter-terrorism framework is unsuitable for the situation in Kursk. Recall on August the 6th, Ukrainian forces made a lightning push into the region, seizing villages, taking hundreds of prisoners and forcing the evacuation of tens of thousands of civilians. Russia was caught unprepared by the offensive and reportedly is drafting conscripts to repel some of Ukraine's most battle-hardened units. Russian state media fell into line, showing evacuees queuing for aid or donating blood, as if the events in Kursk were a humanitarian disaster and not the largest attack on Russia since World War II.